we're good. I'm good. Right. I'm so happy. There we are. <laughs> we're, there we are. Good. All right, let's give it two minutes till we start. Make sure everybody's in because it's only 629. All right. Please forgive me where you're lost. Yeah. And you see that? Can you that? I saw that. Yeah. That's very, very good. I, I was impressed by that because I had to walk right up to it to see it. But I wasn't sure until so you walked up and confirmed it. Looks like there were a few dots there. John is done for a bit joining us today. Um, as far as I know, he is. Um, not sure. Okay. He'll be, on, uh, he'll be online or he'll be here in person. All right. Okay. Okay, you guys are uh, pretty much first on the order. Under multiple refund to protest. There he is right there. So text them and there he appears. <laughs> it's magic. That's who we shall receive. <laughs> Okay. See how this goes. Not yet. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you hit record. I, I apologize. It didn't speak to us. It did. It did? Yep. It did. I guess that's cool. The last time I was fired by. Do we have people coming? Call the order of the Board of Selectmen uh, regular meeting of September 16th, 2024, 6.30 p.m. Welcome all who are here. Uh, please join me in the pledge of allegiance. Aye. Aye. The United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Approval of minutes. I believe those are the minutes of the special meeting of August 26th. Wait in order, please. Go. Go ahead. Um, I think I have some materials for you guys. This meeting is improperly noticed and votes should not take place. Good to tell. Uh, I, I agenda discussions shouldn't take place. I, when, I, when I just handed out copies of uh, the agenda for this evening's meeting, right? an email from Russell Blair with the Freedom of Information Commission <clears throat> spelling out the requirements for adequately noticing the townspeople of upcoming meetings, and a copy of the town ordinance concerning the appointment of the town clerk. Yes. Mr. Uh, Blair's email specifies in Section C that the agenda of every public agency except for the General Assembly shall be available to the public and shall be filed not less than 24 hours before such meetings. Furthermore, defining that 24 hours, Fridays don't count because the town offices are closed. Saturdays and Sundays don't count because they're closed. The agenda says that it was received on Saturday. This meeting is improperly noticed. Thank you. Thank you for your input. However, I've contacted uh, um, a, a member of the FY Commission, Commissioner Parrish, and she said that that having it noticed on Saturday is, is perfectly adequate. Also, the uh, town clerk was uh, uh, <laughs> uh, appointed by the uh, Board of Selectmen. Uh, Selectmen uh, Clark and I hired her, and she was appointed on Friday, and it was filed with the, uh, the uh, Secretary of State on that day. And uh, so I, I disagree. Okay. John, can you point to me where it says 
the the big document, section G. Section G. Yep. And determining the time within which yep. or yep. by that I, I, I can read it. Yep. Thank you. I just didn't know where it was. Days when the warrant offices are closed, Saturday, Sundays, legal holidays. <laughs> Any time when we're going to notice. Ah. Isn't doesn't that just apply to special meetings and emergency special meetings? No. Those are wars. Those that? are wars, not ants. Four minutes of a special meeting. Yeah, four, four minutes of a special meeting or an emergency special meeting. Isn't that relevant just to special meetings? That's the way I interpret it. Am I wrong? The regular meeting. Russell, Russell Blair did not interpret it that way. He said that the uh, days when the office is closed, or the Saturdays and Sundays and legal holidays, don't count for the twenty-four hour notice. Determining the time within which or by when a notice, agenda, record of votes, or minutes of a special meeting or an emergency special meeting are required to be filed. Saturday, Sunday, legal holidays. I'm just trying to. I, these are fun to read, but. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't sound like a regular meeting uh, reference. That sounds like a special meeting reference. I'm not arguing with Russell Blair. I don't even know that. Citizens have adequate notice of this meeting. They should have had it on Thursday, the twelfth. That was the last time that the offices were open. I don't recall the meeting being warned on it the Saturday before. I, I don't I don't disagree that it's an anomaly. I, I just don't think that it's an illegal anomaly. We have two yeah, an words. anomaly is illegal. Erica, can you hang on just one second and I'll get right to you. I do see your hand raised and I, I I'm having the discussion in the room first and then I'll get to you. All right, Erica, go ahead. Sure. Thank you, Peter. Um, I think everything you have on this agenda is important. I think it's business that needs to take place. I think you need to pause. I think you need to properly warn this meeting so that you can conduct the business that needs to be conducted. I think if I um, were the chair of a board, am I to assume correctly that I can call the town clerk at any time and have her open the town hall so that I can warn my meeting because I forgot? I doubt that will happen and that should not be the expectation. I also just heard you say that you and Selectman Clark appointed her, the two of you conducting town business without being warned a meeting is another illegal meeting. If your intent is to appoint her, it's of the a meeting of the board of selectmen and that I, should take uh, place. Erica, Erica, can I can I handle some of these as they come up? So that I, no, I, I'm I'm saying to you, I think you should stop this now. You just said to us that you and Selectman Clark appointed her you can you just told us you conducted business outside of a meeting that was not warned if the intent of this board is to appoint someone that's not the issue the issue is the warning in which you do it and i doubt when this goes to foi because i will file with foi that they would tell you you can pick any time on a saturday to warn any meeting that you feel like so that it meets your 24-hour notice that you know that that's not the right way to conduct this i would stop properly warn it and do the business that you need to do. Thank you for your input. Well, you pull the board. What do you think? Um, I, first of all, I think that there's a lot of people here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus, uh, this is the largest meeting we've ever had this year, I think. Um, so, in my opinion, it's, it's uh, you know, people knew that this was going on. I don't have a legal opinion, so I, I would pass. I don't know. I'm not a legal expert. I don't know. And I, I don't know. Um, but I really don't know. Um, All right. Here's what I'm going to say. I've gotten one legal opinion. Apparently, there's another legal opinion. Nobody in this room is a, is a lawyer. Mandy, 